Hello, thank you for watching. Today I want to show you how to make a customized banner for your Zazzle store. Um, the pre-made templates that come with your Zazzle store, they're fine, but it's best to make a customized banner of your own for your store so it would stand out more to customers. So what I have on the screen right here is one of the designs that I have in one of my Zazzle stores. I'm going to use this as part of my store banner. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, you're going to click on New. And the Zazzle store banner, it can be no more than 900 width. So I'm going to make the width 900. And then the height is either 100 or 200 pixels. So I'm going to choose 200. And then OK. So what I'm going to do, uh, I always like to use uh, layers. Because if you mess up on one layer, you don't have to do the entire thing over again. You only mess up one part and it's easy to correct. So I have a background layer. I'm going to add a, another layer. So I have a background layer and then I have the second layer is a transparent layer. So I'm going to first of all color the background. And so that's the color of my well the second layer, layer 2, the background is the one on the bottom. And I'm going to create another layer. This is going to be for my text. It's a transparent layer number 3. I uh, want it to be black. And I've already selected the font and the size. Well I may make it a little bit smaller for the size. So I'm going to put And I think it's a little bit big. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I think I like it at 45. And so I'm going to have it there. And then I'm going to go back. Well, actually, I'm going to add another layer. Oops. And then I'm going to select all for the uh, product that I have. And I'm going to say copy, go back to my banner, and paste. And this I'm going to keep it the canvas size because you you know you can do no more than 900 width or 200 in the height. So I'm going to keep it that, but you're going to adjust this. Um, so just grab it and make it smaller like that and adjust it and see I may have should have put my product on the bottom layer but it's because it would be over the text um, in my case I don't think it'll matter because I'm gonna put it on the it put his picture on the edge but you can still fix that if you want to by moving this layer down below that one which is by clicking this arrow and if you look you'll see it's underneath the text now but it's fine I'm gonna just leave it right there so I'm gonna make that a little bit better and maybe I'm a little bit closer so there and I'm just gonna deselect it then uh, I'm gonna add another layer of text so we're gonna say layers add a new layer and so this is actually number five I'm just gonna flip that up there just so it'd be in some kind of better order 
So now uh, I'm going to choose a different kind of text. I know which one I want. Uh, it's going to be this one. And a lot of times, well, I think it's nice if you like have a your name the name of your store should have a subtitle um just like a, a a good book will have a title and then it will have a subtitle i think that applies also to you know a store name so i'm gonna give it a smaller font Okay, so and I'm going to position it down a little bit uh, because I'm going to do some more text and I'm going to put it uh, right above this section because my shop is, is going to sell more than just the custom dog shirts. It's going to also, I'm going to sell the dog tags, uh, the dog food bowls also. So let's go ahead and get another text and I'm going to give it another layer too. And this is going to be red and I know which font I want to put on for this one. Uh, let's see. This one right here and I'm gonna put it right here because I'm gonna put in here really cool t-shirts and they're gonna put right above it and more because this shop is gonna be again selling more than just the dog t-shirts let's uh, put it right here and so that people will know that it goes in the proper proper place I'm gonna put some lines um, and just draw here just like that and so people will know that you know it's really cool t-shirts and more rather than just the, t the dog t-shirts and I'm gonna add another layer and add one other thing um, there was a picture of a bone I'm gonna put in here this uh, I'm gonna select it and then copy and then go back to my banner and then I'm going to paste it in and again you're gonna keep the same canvas so it's going to put it there and you just adjust the size of it like this and then I'm going to move it right over here on the end and can make it a bit bigger okay so and I'm going to deselect and so there is my customized banner for my Zazzle store and you're just gonna save this as a PNG or JPEG I prefer saving it to a PNG and um, this is what you're gonna upload to be your banner for your Zazzle store well thank you for watching